Welcome to C programming tutorial. Um, this tutorial is continuation of the previous tutorial. Uh, we were talking about do while loop. Uh, the part one of this tutorial uh, is the is in the previous video. So uh, if you haven't watched it, I would highly recommend that you watch that video. Uh, this is just the tu the part two of that you know the continuation of uh, of that tutorial. So we were talking about do while loop, and we were trying. We are about to write a program that would basically allow the user to enter numbers one after the other. So the user enters a number, then we ask again for the for ask for entering the number, then we ask again, and so on. And we keep on asking the number until the user enters zero. At which point we are supposed to output the sum of all the numbers that the user has entered. Okay, so we notice that you know we have to do this. We don't have fixed number of count that we have to do do this. So we notice first thing that we have to do something repeatedly. What is that thing? We have to keep asking user uh, the to enter the sum num number. So excuse me. So entering number. That's what the thing that we have to do repeatedly. Okay, so we have to use loops because we saw that loops will allow us to basically do something repeatedly, and then we saw that you know we have to do it at least once. So we 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 saw that basically there is no fixed number of times that we have to do it. So for loop we don't we don't use for loop if unless we know how many times you have to use uh, how many times you have to execute the loop. Now you know you could still use for loop, but you know let's let's keep for loop for only the time when we know how many times that loop has to be executed. So we are not going to use for loop. So then we are left with do while loop or the while loop. And how do we determine which one to use? We have to do this repeated work at least once. Which means that the, we have to at least ask the user to enter one number. The user may enter the first number as zero, but you know you have to ask the user at least once. So if that's the case, so we use do while and not the while. So we are going to use do while to basically solve our problem. So what are we going to do? What we are going to use this do while statement. So what is the what is the thing that we have to do repeatedly? We have to put that inside the body of the do while. What is it? We have to ask the user to enter a number so how do you ask the user to enter a number you write enter a number on the screen and how do we do that we learned before that we use print f and then we followed by the message that we have to write we, this will print on the screen but it won't ask the user to enter the number to get the input from the from the user in one of the previous tutorials titled inputting uh, uh, and that, that in that tutorial we learned that how to enter ask for data from the user so here we are going to use that and the f function to use is scan f and then since it's a number the specifier the format specifier is percent d and then we have to enter it into some variable so let's call that n variable num okay for number and before you use this variable we have to declare it okay so we will declare this number here int num okay so this thing will continuously run and uh, this body of the while loop will continue to run and keep on getting the input from the user so how are we going to stop it what is our stopping condition this is what it's going to be here so well not the stopping condition the condition that will keep on making it run what is it for as we have to you have to ask this question how long do I have to keep doing this? How long do I have to enter the number? For as long as I do not enter zero. Okay? As long as I do not enter zero. In other words, as long as the user, the number that user has entered is not equal to zero. And if you don't remember not equal to, this is how you write not equal to. We, we learned this in, in the tutorial named, uh, titled as um, conditions. So do while num is not equal to zero. Do this while num is not equal to zero. As long as soon as number is equal to zero, this condition will become false and we'll exit out. We'll come here. So what do we have to do at the when the user enters zero? We have to print the sum of all the numbers. So how are we, are we gonna do the sum of all these numbers? Well, we don't even have, the only number that we have is the last number that user entered. We don't even have the numbers that the user entered before this number. So how do we print the sum? Well, so we have to be a little bit clever here. Okay, what we are going to do is we are going to keep 
adding those numbers as the user enters so what do we do let's define a num another number sum okay another variable sum and let's initialize it to zero or you could initialize it right here and that's a good pr good practice to initialize right at the time when you declare it so let's do this we declare in uh, another variable sum as integer and we uh, initialize it to zero and what we are going to do is to basically keep adding those numbers into the previous sum whatever the sum is okay and what do we do we have to you cannot write this sum plus num okay it will just add it there is no place to keep this value this value what do we do we put it back into sum and as we learned before in algebra this may be a wrong thing to do it doesn't make sense sum is equal to sum plus num it doesn't make sense but in computer programming it it does make sense and what it says is basically you add sum the previous sum or the current sum value whatever the sum is and then add the number that the user has entered and store that number into sum as the new number so now as the user keeps on entering this statement will keep on adding and putting it into the variable sum so at the end when we exit out of the loop we already have the sum of all those numbers in the variable sum so all we have to do is to print out that variable so how do we print out that variable print f the sum of all the numbers is equal to percent d this is where the number is going to go the sum is going to go this is the format specifier backslash n will basically bring it to the next line the cursor to the next line and then we write the which variable we have to print here which one is it sum or num sum that's right and that's it so let's give this program a try <coughs> oops let's see if it's running 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 no what's wrong uh, f9 here sorry about that so enter a number see the program started running and it asks to enter the number this is the very first time so the program comes here num it declares a variable num then it declares a variable sum makes it equal to zero and then comes here displays this enter a number this message and then a scanf is asking for the user to enter the number so let's enter the number three okay and three is not equal to zero so it should not stop and it should ask for another uh, input another n number see enter a number good because it came here the value of num was 3 which is not equal to 0 so this condition is true and then and then it went back so when the condition of the while loop is true it executes the body again so it executes the body again and asks for the another number 2 still it's not 0 so it asks for another number 4 3 okay so it keeps on it's gonna keep on asking the num for non new numbers because you know I, I as long as I don't enter zero okay and it keeps on adding this into sum and why we are not seeing sum here the value of sum because we are not printing the value of sum here we are going to print the value of sum outside this loop when the loop is gonna exit and how the loop is gonna exit when I'm going to enter zero so let's enter zero see so when we entered zero added that number which is zero you know so it's not gonna change the sum and we it gets here and then it says is zero is equal is not equal to zero no no that's false zero is equal to zero so this condition is false the loop exits out and then it prints the sum of all the numbers is equal to eight so check it three plus two is five plus three is eight Ta-da! the program runs fine so that concludes our tutor this tutorial. Please keep watching them. Thank you.